Let's go down Spartans, we're back with World Domination, and I'm going to get right into it today. I'm going to show you how the new updated game looks, and I'm going to show you some gameplay, but I want to get right into it with a battle, so here we go. Just uh, choosing where to drop my truce, basically. I'm going to move these guys up, hold on a second guys, we're about to get overrun if we don't be careful. So, here we go, I'm actually just going to put five fire chiefs there. Ah, get over there, go, there we go, cool. And a machine gunner behind them, so, whenever the fire chiefs die, I'm actually going to replace them with another fire chief from my borrowed unit however we should be able to win with just this let's speed up this map and as you can see both buildings I need to protect are right here on a single street so that one machine gunner should be able to hold it down but I dropped two just in case and they are my max level 36 ones uh, they're not max level but they're my highest level that I have and as you can see a ton of zombies are just coming for me right now but we are handling it very well let's go ahead and boost and let's drop a few more oh, wow those guys are really close to dying that's not good. I don't like that at all. But anyway, we are doing quite well. Nothing to worry about, really. And I'm really enjoying this game. It's looking so good. If you guys haven't seen it in a while, I'm going to scroll around and let you see it. Uh, the flares you could drop, and it like pulls all the zombies to them. Of course, you got your stim, which is your booster. It allows you to boost your troops in uh, very, very many ways. Their health, their strength, all that good stuff. And here we go. As you can see, one final... I think that's the final one there. It should be the final bit of zombies we're going to get. Let's go ahead and boost it up. Get that machine gunner OP as can be. And then just drop these guys here for fun. Let them die out. And they are going to... Actually, are they going to handle that? Now we'll Molotov them. Boom! End of story, guys. And that's how you win with a Molotov cocktail. Super awesome. Hopefully, you guys are excited as I am for global release, which should be coming soon. I'll have... A, I don't know. I'll have a realistic update on one that'll be in the next week or so here so stay tuned i'm not sure when it's coming out but we should be finding out a release date pretty soon which is very exciting as you guys know so here is the map that i want to show you guys basically they changed it made it look a lot cleaner a lot more professional they made it so it has like this magnet effect when you're scrolling it scrolls right to the next city like you can go off the cities obviously um you're able to go anywhere you want but when you're trying to go on the path of you just like swipe it real quick it goes right to the next one. So it's it's really easy to swipe in the direction you want to go. Um, event goes right to the world event so you don't have to search for it. And then you got PvP, which is like your normal attacking in Clash of Clans when you attack random people. Um, obviously, I'm in Silver League. There's only one more league above me. I'm like rank number 10. So I need to continue climbing that. But let's do some more guild raids and then we might do another episode of PvP if you guys are enjoying this. So let me know. And if you guys want a beta code for this game go ahead and comment below and i will definitely see what i can do i will be talking to proletariat trying to get as many beta codes as possible for this last update uh this upcoming update i should say and that will be very helpful i'm just selling a bunch of troops right now because i don't need them and i need space to fight so there we go got our troops gone so i can go ahead and start fighting now i'll show you the rest of the things that are updated in the game in a second just want to go ahead and keep splitting it up between raids and showing you wow same place nice and easy Cool, it's going to start the raid and put it on speed automatically. Let's see if we can actually hold with just... Oh, shit. My bad, guys. <laughs> Didn't mean to swear there, but that runner came up fast on me. He was trying to kill me. You guys can't let that happen? Come on, where are you guys at? I thought you had me protected. All right, so I'm going to move this machine gunner up because that was really bad news. That went really badly to start out. Uh, maybe we'll... I don't know. I don't want to waste any more troops. It's hard to choose when to waste troops because if you're... Oh, my God. Yeah, we're going to waste troops. Fuck. Alright, so we're going to have to drop troops just to keep our guys alive, unfortunately. That is the bad news. Um, the good news is that we are winning so far, so that's always positive. Here we go, let's drop our Molotov, and let's take out some of this crew, make them nice and weak. And unfortunately, those big guys are just really killing me right now. I don't even know what to do about that. I guess I could put my sharpshooters down, but I'd rather not use them. I'm going to use my scatter shots instead. They should be able to hold this line pretty nicely. As you can see, scatter shots are way, way stronger than they used to be. As soon as you get to level 30, they are extremely, extremely useful, which is the good news. I love them at level 30. And here we go. Let's go ahead and boost. What the heck? That one zombie didn't even get affected by my... Uh... God, this is going really badly, unfortunately. I'm sorry, guys. This is a terrible example of how to do this, but whatever. We won. That's the bottom line. I didn't have to waste too many troops. I dropped like three sets of guys, so that's not too bad. 
and we did get a nice amount of trophies and some loot so that's always positive let's see we got a firefighter nothing special let's move on we'll do one more for you guys before i do let's show you this bottom as you see you can click on team and that'll actually allow you to show your team right here and you can see how awesome the scrolling is like it just, it's just so fine-tuned how this game looks now and i do have some stronger guys that i'm not showing right now but anyway then you go to train and you can actually show your troops that are training and you basically have like lockers that train your troops now and it's like timed. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So I'm just going to go ahead and retrain this same scatter shot. So we're going to find her real quick. There she is, level 15 and trainer. And then I did get the buzzsaw, which many of you may have not seen. Super excited about that. That is like the strongest machine gunner in the game. And that is super awesome because machine gunners are the most OP unit as long as you have something in front of them. So that was really exciting for me. The professional is also a legendary I have not received before, so it was really cool to get her. Uh, let's go ahead and re-upgrade these two real quick, and then we will continue on with some raids. Ah, uh, let's do it. All right, cool. So two hours, those will be done. So as you can see, it looks really awesome. Everything's looking great. Research, you can see, you get to research all your things. So your stim, your flare, and your Molotov cocktail can be, uh, you know, boosted and made stronger. And that's over time, of course. Then you get to collect resources for free every day. It just automatically you just put troops in here. And then they start, let's see, what should we put in here? Let's put something, uh, do I have anything good I can put in here? I guess I could put my scatter shot. I don't use her. There we go. Put my scatter shot in there. Nice! Oh, wait, I can't do it because she is upgrading. Uh, let's put the Timber Beast in. I don't use him much, and he's an epic. So there we go. Getting some more loot. And then the store, of course, you can always buy stuff. That's the same. Nothing changed there. And that's pretty awesome. But as you can see, though, we are going to continue on and do one last raid with, oh shoot, not PvP, not PvP, do it, go to guild, there we go, alright cool, Dubai, one last time and then I'm going to continue fighting on normally, but I uh, just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how awesome the game's been looking and how excited I am for this global release, everything's so fine tuned and there's a lot, there's the little things, you know, a couple little things I need to work on and obviously I'm not going to say it's perfected yet, uh, but it's really, really good. I'm super pumped for the global release, and there is nothing that'll make me say otherwise because I love this game, and it's it's one of the most addicting games I've ever played, and it's going to get even better. I already know. The plans I have for the future are so cool, and I definitely suggest you guys try it out when it comes out. Do me a favor, though. Go subscribe to the World Zombination Expert channel that I made. It's a collab channel. And it's very important that we get people on there. So go ahead and go subscribe to that. That'll be very, very helpful to me. And, of course, to Tiff Tiff and Termitator and all the other guys that I work with on there. And it is really, really cool. It's a good channel. A lot of content. Really fun World Zombination content. And, honestly, it's going to have full support backing from Proletariat, the company that makes World Zombination. So that is awesome to see. You can also meet some of their team members who created the game and are their social media managers, etc. And they will be playing and showing videos on that channel too. So that's really cool. It's something no one else has ever done. So I'm definitely excited to be working with a company willing to work with their YouTubers in such close proximity in order to make the fans happy and, you know, basically just be in touch with the community more than any other game has ever been. And that is something that is very, very exciting to me to see the future. Now... We're just going to go ahead and continue to drop down troops somewhere. Let's see where should we drop these guys. Let's drop them here. See if they can kill something. Useless. <laughs> anyway, this is almost over, as you can see. Things are going... Uh, yep, they killed them all. Cool. Things are going decent. Let's kind of speed them up. The flare, by the way, when you upgrade it, does speed zombies up temporarily. So, that is kind of cool. It allows for you to like move your troops around. And it makes them either run away from you faster or run toward you faster, which is very useful. And one last Molotov cocktail to end it, I think. Oh, no. Yes, I do get it with the Molotov cocktail. Nice. That's pretty awesome. I didn't think I was going to get it. Anyway, we just won one more battle, so very important. As I said, go subscribe to my collab channel for World Zombination. Oh, I got 25 in-game coins. Very awesome. And I'll put that link to that channel in the description below. That's very important. Make sure you do that, guys. And I will see you in the next episode.